have a treat today because not only do we have the decorator of this beautiful condo, but we also have the homeowner, Barbara. So we're here on Wericoba Park in Midtown Columbus, and you took a couple years to redo this whole condo with the help of Ashley and yes. you, Jamie Herndon and Jack Jenkins to help design. So right when we walk in this entrance hall, tell me about this. So the, I'm, I'm noticing these beautiful, is it marble, terrazzo, travertine, travertine yeah. floors? They were here. They were Trangle here. Original. Okay. Original to the design. Um, I think, Marlo, that um, Barbara's done a wonderful job of keeping the, the good bones mm -hmm. that this condo had and, of course, with the help of Jack and, um, and a little help from me. Um, so when you come in, there's lots of the original still here, okay. the original character here. Mm -hmm. We just tried to enhance it and turn it into Barbara's home. And what I love is this door knocker. And you were saying that this was from your home on Carter Avenue. Yeah. And you wrote into the contract that it comes here. So right. it makes such a statement just right uh -huh. when you walk in. I bought it in Siena, Italy. Okay. Um, probably, I don't know, six or so years ago. Okay. Maybe longer. But anyway, I wanted to bring it with me. So I did put it in the contract. And then what I love too, John was talking about the urns and the bench belong to your great grandmother and his great grandmother. Yes. So then you've got a little piece of each of you right when you walk in from the porch. Yeah. So when um, you bought this condo, this was a half wall, correct? Yes. And then um, whose idea was it to make it a taller wall so you could put a mirror and kind of have more definite hallway zone? I think it was actually in, uh -huh. in Jackson. Mine. I, 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 I can't, couldn't tell you whose idea Jackson was. Jackson is not a big believer in half walls. Uh -huh. right. Because it really does define this whole space, makes it more into a room, because before, yes, it just flew, I mean, just well, flowed into the other and, spot. And out the end, which was kind of cool to look all the way through, but it turned out that with what Barbara owned, we, we needed room to put it, mm -hmm. and it also makes the entrance into this spot a little bit more intimate. And I think that's... And then just a little bit of wallpaper so it's not overwhelming the space. You don't have it on all the walls, but just adding a little bit of interest to have the mirror there. And then tell me, these are, what are these? Those are Pam Tidwell's Oh, wow. Porcelain. She just has exquisite Oh, they're porcelain. beautiful. And um, I, I love them. And it just adds such a little, just a little bit of interest right when you walk in. And our pop of color, pulling her coral through, mm -hmm. and um, um, gives us a little bit of a, a little hit. Yeah, it sure door. does. The living room, which is the main part of this home, is just such a great spot because um, Ashley was telling me that really everything in this room is what you had in the in your previous home. That's it's just kind of been repurposed. So yes. tell me a little bit about as we walk around, like the sofas, and I know the drapes were correct. Yes, the drapes uh, we just had them remade to fit these windows, and but everything basically was just picked up and moved because the drapes. Um, I mean, it, the little the detail here that matches the curtains. I mean, matches this sofa, and then this material that matches that sofa. Um, it's just yeah. And then what else did you do? So this room, we really again, this house has such great bones. But in this room, we just did um, an update on the fireplace. Okay. This is a Francois Company um, mantel, oh, which. So um, um, it's just such a cool thing to have, mm -hmm. and, and um, the integrity of, of their work is, is wonderful. And it took the, it elevated the room, it I guess really, is the yeah. right, yeah. right yeah. word. It took, it, it took us to a new century. Um, otherwise, this room is as it was, um, with the exception of the, these, um, these back walls, which um, ha hang now Marge Shelley's artwork that Barbara um, got to purchase after her death and um in our, our special pieces but this is basically taking space that was not um needed for her in this room and on the other side of it when we get there you'll mm -hmm. see that these are storage closets and a pantry and um but gave her more room for her artwork she has beautiful 
local art. Well, it is fun seeing March Tilly again on either side because, you know, you we've know. Southern Views has visited your home yeah. and you've got some pieces and we did Lisa Rain's house. She did some pieces and I mean, it's just a whole nother look to her, but it does add so much to this room. And then I love this painting over here of your two boys. Um, done and tell me the name of the artist Rebecca Rich. Rebecca Rich. Mm -hmm. And we that's this just, was done in Macon, okay. uh, where my mother grew up. This was my great grandparents' um, home, oh, okay. and that was a gazebo. And oh, those, how these are to have picture, that. little uh, paintings. Mm -hmm. of, the house was called Overlook, and my my grandfather grew up there. Okay, so that's that. Yeah, that's so that's um, special to have that painting of your boys and your child and your family home. Yeah. Yes. And then I love special. also too, Ashley, how you just. It's just a neutral color on this, on the walls, just so that everything just pops against it and a neutral carpet against the darker hardwood floors, um, which, which allowed you to just bring in her furniture and her drapes as is and just repurpose and reuse. And, and, and go ahead. Well, I was just going to say that the, when you buy it well the first time, mm -hmm. it, um, it, it, it seems to travel with you. So. Jack Jenkins named it the park room, yes. was added on because this was a balcony. There was a porch. A deck. Right. A, okay, a deck. Off, of, um, Off the room we were in. Yes. Okay. And we felt like we wanted a little more space. So Jack drew um, this wonderful room and named it the park room. And then we added a screen porch and a little balcony okay. here. Um, and then these are Peggy Cypress. Yes. And this in the ceiling and all that. Um, and then this wonderful zoo pan, you told me that was your mother's. That was my the mother's. Iconic. mother's. Margaret Lewis. <laughs> she had such great style and such beautiful things, and that just really is the showstopper for this room. And then, Ashley, you were telling me, so the kind of the theme also throughout um, is black, adding some black. Black accents, you're So right. tell me about that, because I see a black table and some black lampshades in here but like the other room had black also so um the doors to the original house were black okay. and the kitchen was originally okay. black and it was something we were that barbara and john were both drawn to towards and we kind of ran with it okay we, we did redo the kitchen with black cabinets mm -hmm. but this room um barbara the Barbara's mother had that um, that table at the end with the ferns on it that's black, and so it sort of helped establish the direction this room was going to. cozy room and then to me the reason one of the reasons why it is is just is this color on the wall so how did you come up with this color because you really are a color master well you're thank you for saying so this this worked us this was not the easiest thing we've ever done so the cypress um takes color differently than than well all wood takes okay. color in a specific way and we kept coming out with a purple purple pink room when we first oh. started working on this and really the point of the room was to be warm and cozy yeah. as you said but not pink but not pink yes. that's right and we thought we wanted a sort of a hint of gray and that's really what we ended up with mm -hmm. um after many many trials but the lesson in that is you must see the color in the space and um and thankfully 
it ended up working out in the end with all yes. of her. Oh, it's just beautiful because then you've moved it over here to all the uh, custom cabinetry here, and then we're able to blend in this 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 um, what kind of material is this? Quartz. Quartz. So quartz it all blends actually, in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Quartz. Well, actually, I think I just told a story. I think this is marble. I think this one ended up being marble. Is that right, Barbara? Did I lie on that? I thought it was quartz. Okay. But, but it's, it's the same piece. It's from the same slab as, the, as the kitchen. Oh, okay. okay, then it and is quartz. I, I it. And then I know you're a big bridge player, correct? Well, I, I love to play bridge. So I take it that's what this table yes. is used for. So you got your bridge table here, and then right over to the bar for your little drinks. <laughs> yeah. Um, you got a TV over the fireplace. So this really is a multifunctional room. Yes. And then it flows right out onto the uh, balcony that was added. Right. Which looks right over where Cobra Park. And these pots of boxwood, I, I had these at my previous home around my swimming pool, and Chris Harmon uh, nursed them for me <laughs> over, for, over the period of two years while we did the work here. We moved them from my previous home to his home, and he took care of them, and then when we moved in here, they came here. My previous home to his home, and he took care of them, and then when we moved in here, they came here. So like we said before, the, to me the star of the show is this Bruno Zupan painting that you have over the sofa. So tell me about yes. it. Yes, that came from my mother and father's home and it was one of Bruno's earliest works. Oh, okay. I have another one in the dining room mm -hmm. and both of those were, some, I think, from early 80s Okay. Um, when they bought them. And anyway, I just love them both. And I love that um, against the uh, Pecky Cypress walls, that texture, and because his paintings, being oil, have so much texture on them. Mm -hmm. and the, yeah, it's beautiful. Yes. And the one in the dining room, you really, when we moved it in, in there, mm -hmm. it, the lighting was so good that you could see so much more detail yeah. that you didn't see when it was hanging in my old house. And so Ashley, did you know as a designer that this painting was going to be in this spot? We did plan where all the okay. artwork was going, or most of the artwork uh -huh. was going um, on, on the initial get-go and of course when we were laying the furniture out and, and everything, but I do think this is um, a, a special painting by Bruno and I love how the um, how almost anything works with it. That's mm -hmm. what's um, You're right. so special. You're it, right. You're right. And so this room was so well laid out, thought out in terms of the function, which is key to you being a good designer of not just making it look pretty, but to function. And um, to, this room functions on many levels. Like the, you said, this was, um, this is your yeah. husband's chair. This is your chair. Yeah. And they swivel. So you can watch TV. You can converse. You it's, can swivel around to the beautiful black table over there. So tell me about where you found this furniture, how you came up with this floor plan. Well, um, the furniture, these the chairs are at least custom for Barbara and for John. Okay. She's teeny weeny and he's over six feet tall. And uh -huh. so we have um, we just we sat in chairs and measured and did and so these are because this is where they live, mm -hmm. this is really supposed to be the comfortable spot for them and mm -hmm. and it's very well used. We also um, carried this, our black that we talked about mm -hmm. earlier through onto the rug. Oh, oh, that's right, okay. And this is from Patterson Blend. It is a, oh, a pattern Barbara and I fell out over. So we, um, we, we splurged to have that in our, in, in this special room. Um, and it, um, we liked the black background, the black accent in it mm -hmm. also. So I, I think that's just sort of our theme carrying through and then over to her patina table. Which well, is like when you say black, it does it's not necessarily jet black. Right. It's kind of a blackish gray, kind of like with your yeah, fabric yeah. here, the, fa the um, fabric on the sofa, and then your black wrought iron, but, and then carrying it over to the black right. on the, so different shades of black, really, That's that have right like kind of um, tied this room together. Room is just a beautiful mix of contemporary framework 
with lots of family pieces in here. So just going around the room, uh, you were saying this was your great grandmother, your grandmother. This is my grandmother's dining table, and I have three more leaves. Oh my goodness! Okay. That can go in it, so I guess it could have been huge. Huge, yeah. Uh, and she had a large dining room in her house in Macon. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Ashley, when you were going through the storage unit that she had after she had moved, all of this was in there. Yes. So. Except did, John's piece. Except, except for John's, John's piece, piece, which has the silver in it. So did you um, immediately know what was going in the dining room when you saw the space, or was it kind of um, moving things around that were, because some of this is not traditional dining room pieces. You're, well, you're right. Um, but you know what, Barbara had used this. In, in had you used this? In the the I had this in yeah. my house on Corridor. In your dining room? In my dining room. Okay. Room. And it this came one? from my mother's oh, house okay. in Harris County. Okay. And I had really gotten it to give to my son and daughter-in-law who live in California. Okay. But we couldn't figure out, we never could figure out how to get it to them. Okay. So I just ended up keeping it. Up. Yeah. <laughs> so instead you inherited it. So he, lo he lost it. <laughs> so Ashley, when you saw this painting, did you immediately know that this was going to go on this wall in the dining room? We, we did. We, 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 planned, we planned for that. And the piece, of course, the scale of all that mm -hmm. is... Um, what works so well in this room. And it's a Bruno's new pan. And this painting was over this piece in my old house. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I actually just moved all of this. Oh, okay. It's there you like go. Easy. And this was, you were saying, was your that great was grandmother's. My grandmother's. Grandmother's silver service. Yes. And then these chairs were your mom's. They were my mother's. Kind of French provincial yes. style. Which works well with the sideboard uh, and it really does. Several other little little pieces that she's got. And then we threw in a contemporary chandelier. And a contemporary chandelier. Try to move this and over. and it's black. So and you're kind black. of you're kind of tying in some of your black accents right. along with these. Tell me about these sconces. You've got two here and the two on the other side. They're fabulous. Well, thank you. They they had they had sconces in here. It was wired for it already. So we just um, kept it. And there are actually two going into the kitchen, which okay. sort of makes that mm -hmm. hallway feel warm. And again, carries our our black gray um, mm -hmm. accent through. And, and sconces just warm the space up. They just mm -hmm. give a. a, a a glow and um, are not the harshness of overhead light. So, nice well, what's nice it. too is to have that mixture of lighting on different levels. Nice. So you've got a chandelier, you've got sconces that add lighting on a mid level, as and then you've got your overhead lighting to add lighting up there. Um, and then this piece was painted by Allison Wickham to match this mirror, correct? Yes. So was this in the storage unit as something separate, and you saw that this needed since you had this this wall put up and needed a piece of furniture well, for this wall. Things, and I think we did the wall because okay. okay. I wanted that to fit there. Uh -huh. And I had those two pieces in my other house too, but okay. the uh, cabinet was not painted. Okay. My sister had gotten uh, the mirror and the cabinet for me years ago from France. Okay. It's beautiful. Um, they're both old. And of course, again, that wall um, sort of encloses what was originally a very open space mm -hmm. and is still an open open mm -hmm. plan, but it makes the dining room more intimate. Well, it makes it feel like a room yeah. before it wasn't there was not a separated right. room. That's right. 